President Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, is now facing multiple allegations of sexual misconduct. Three named accusers went public with their stories after Kavanaugh's first confirmation hearings this September. I do. The first woman to come forward was Dr. Christine Blase Ford. She said she knew Kavanaugh during their high school years in the early 1980s, when the two went to private prep schools in suburban Maryland. Dr. Blase Ford wrote a confidential letter to her congresswoman in July, which was given to the Senate Judiciary Committee's ranking Democrat, Dianne Feinstein of California, later that month. Bits of her story leaked out to the press in early September, before she came forward to the Washington Post in an article published on September 16th. Ford recounted a party that she and Kavanaugh attended one summer in the early 1980s in Montgomery County, Maryland, just north of Washington. She said that the teens, including herself, were drinking at the party and that Kavanaugh and his friend Mark Judge were stumbling drunk. Ford said Judge and Kavanaugh corralled her in a bedroom and that Kavanaugh pinned her on a bed, groped her over her clothes, and attempted to pull off her swimsuit. She said that she escaped from the room when Judge jumped on the bed and didn't tell anyone about the incident until years later at a therapy session with her husband in 2012. Kavanaugh denied Ford's allegation, saying that he didn't know her and never attended a party like the one she described. I may have met her. We did not travel in the same social circles. She was not a friend, not someone I knew. I was never at any such party. The other people who are alleged to be present have said they do not remember any such party. The second woman to accuse Kavanaugh of misconduct was Deborah Ramirez in an account published by The New Yorker on September 23rd. She and Kavanaugh were undergraduate students at Yale University during the 1983-1984 school year. Ramirez said Kavanaugh exposed himself to her at a dorm party where both of them had been drinking. Kavanaugh also vehemently denied Ramirez's allegation. I never did any such thing. If such a thing had happened, it would have been the talk of campus. The third woman to come forward was Julie Swetnick. Her lawyer, Michael Avenatti, tweeted out her sworn statement on September 26th after days of posting pictures of unanswered emails to the Senate Judiciary Committee about his client. Swetnick went to high school in suburban Maryland and said in her statement that she met Kavanaugh and Judge in approximately 1980 to 1981. She said she attended well over 10 house parties with Kavanaugh and Judge from 1981 to 1983 and witnessed their excessive drinking and physically abusive behavior toward women. Swetnick alleged that Kavanaugh, Judge, and others tried to spike the punch at house parties they attended in order to target girls. She said she remembers Kavanaugh and Judge waiting in line for their turn to rape inebriated or disoriented women. Swetnick said she was incapacitated and raped at one of the parties where Kavanaugh and Judge were present in approximately 1982. Kavanaugh denied Swetnick's allegations against him. The White House and many Senate Republicans continue to support Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court.